heard you got about four. Try to say you had less, but don't do it. If you say I'm on your mind, you gon' need to spend more time to prove it. Cause I want you to, baby. You too, baby. I want you to. I am back with another video if you guys are new please do not leave here without hitting that subscribe button and also be sure to hit that bell so you guys can know when I'm uploading my videos and be sure to follow me on my social media so you guys can keep up with me as well so I want to bring you guys this simple everyday slay this is what I do on an everyday basis I always make sure that I go in with my wing liner and my lashes of course you guys do not have to do this you just got you guys can just put on your lashes or mascara and just go on about your day but this is what i do if you guys want to know how i achieve this look stay tuned in and keep watching and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah. so i went ahead and did my brows off camera like i usually do i use my anastasia dip brow and i use my nyx brow pencil and i use this in the shade black and this one in the shade granite and I also use um, Allegro Pro Concealer in the shade Toast to shade my concealer. And I just go on top of my foundation just so it can look nice and natural. So now I'm just going to move onto my eyes and I'm going to my face. For my base, I'm just going to be using my Allegro Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. And for my like my simple like look. I usually, um, I don't wear eyeshadow, I just do like a nice liner and um, I'll put on some lashes, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to buff that out with this buffing brush that I have from BH Cosmetics. Like I said, for my natural look, I usually either set my concealer with either powder or I will set it with I would just like one eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow I'm using, I'm just taking my Coastal Sense Z palette. And I'll just taking this orange shade right here called Octoberfest. And I'm just gonna use that to set my concealer. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take a blending brush from Morphe and I'm just going to take pick up a little bit more of that color and I'm just going to use it to blend out the shadow. And I usually have on tape when I'm doing this, but I'm just going to put the tape on so I can do my liner. So, okay, so now that it's done, I went ahead and added my tape so my, um, my eye look, my eye shadow and my liner can be like nice and sharp and crisp. And now I'm just gonna take my Anastasia Dip Glow, Dip Glow, Dead Glow Highlighter Palette, and I'm just gonna take Golden Bronze, and I'm gonna use that to highlight highlights my brow bone. Now that is done, I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to use this to create my wing liner.
Okay, you do not have to do all of this. I'm just the type of person that I cannot go without wing liner like that. Um, you can totally just pop on some lashes and call it a day, but me, 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 I cannot go without my liner, so I always, always have to wear wing liner. And I like my wing liner a little thick. So that's that. And then for my lashes, I don't always show y'all what I put on for my lashes, but this is a pack of lashes that I, the pack of lashes that I always get from Amazon, and it comes in a pack of like five, and they cost like I think like three ninety nine or four ninety nine for a pack of this. So usually when I buy it, I usually buy like five or six packs or three packs sometimes at once because they do take a while to get here. They take like maybe two to three weeks to get here, which is fine. I'm used to it. Um, they're just like a natural, like not natural, but they're like an inexpensive mink look because I refuse to pay like ten, twenty dollars for a pair of mink lashes. Like if it's too expensive when I can just get these lashes for the price that I get it for. So I'm just about to pop these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so now for my primer, I'm gonna be taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm just gonna be putting that all over my face. And now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Matte Matte Foundation in the shade Z80 Soft Sable. And I'm going to take my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. And I'm just going to mix the two together and put it all over my face. Now I usually go in with the brush first and buff it out. This is the Sedona Lace um, 928 Buffing Brush or well, Flat Top Buffing Brush. And then I go in with my Beauty Blender and I blend it out. Like my face, I'm going to be using my other girl pro concealer in the shade Toast and Fawn. Now, usually, if I want like a super, I want like a, I won't say a super bright, but if I want somewhat of a bright highlight, I'll just use Fawn by itself. But um, usually, when I'm just want to rock like a simple glam face, I mix the two together just so that my Fawn can like it tones the not Fawn, but Toast kind of tones Fawn down a little bit. It kind of balances each other out, so that's why I like to blend the two together. And now to contour my face, I'm just going to take Ella Girl Pro Concealer again in the shade Mahogany. And I'm just going to contour the, my cheekbones. I only use this on my cheekbones and around my forehead. I do not use this on my nose. Now to set my contour, I usually always set my contour first and then set my highlighted areas just cause, you know, like with the darker powders, they kind of get mixed in with the lighter powder sometimes. So I like to go in with my contour powder first and then I'll go in with my, my, uh, my buttercup powder. So I'll be using the Ruby Kisses pressed powder in the shade Ebony. I'm gonna use this to contour my face.
So now to set my rest of my face, I will be using the Sasha Buttercup powder. And I'm just gonna be using this Real Technique brush. Sometimes I'll use like a wedge, but when I don't really want to bake, I'll just use this brush. And to set my face, I will be using my LA Girl, not my LA Girl, y'all, my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder, and this is the shade Dark. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my same powder again, and I'm just going to use this to bake underneath my contour just a little bit. Now sometimes with my um, with me baking, sometimes I'll dust it off right away or I will let it bake underneath. But for today, I'm just gonna dust it away right away because I don't want to I don't want um, that area to look too you know too bright. So now we're gonna go on and finish up the rest of the eyes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take golden bronze again. I used this for my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna use this shade again. For to pop this in the inner, y'all yeah, can't talk. I'm gonna pop this in the inner a portion of my tear duct. And now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. gel liner in the shade Midnight Black and I'm gonna use this to line my waterline. And now I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and my Bad Gown Benefit Mascara and I'm gonna comb my lashes. I use this one for the bottom and I use this one for the top. Now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. blush quad in the shade in the one that's dark and I'm just going to take this deep orange shade right here. It's like a warm orange and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Now I'm just going to set my face. Now I'm going to set my face with my Mario Badescu's um, Rose Water Spray. And I'm gonna go in with my Glow Kit again. And I'm gonna mix Golden Bronze and Dripping and Gold together. And I'm gonna use that as, as my highlighter. For my lips, I'm just gonna line my lips with my NYX Sway Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. No, it's not Downtown Beauty, it's Club Hopper. And I'm just gonna go in this Is Me Lip Gloss in the shade Vanessa, and I'm just gonna do that.
So that is it for this look. I'm about to put my wig on, my handy dandy wig on, and I will be back. So this is the finished look. This is what it looks like. I just put on my, my wig and I put on this cute camouflage bandana. It's camouflage slash army. I don't know. This is, you know, I just put it on just to make it look cute. So this is exactly what it looks like. If you guys have not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave from here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.